Radio frequency identification uses electromagnetic fields to automatically identify and track tags attached to objects. An RFID system consists of a tiny radio transponder, a radio receiver and transmit. The radio frequency identification RFID, technology has been around for decades. It is a tag, label, or card that can exchange data with a reader using radio frequency RF, signals. It usually has a built-in antenna and an integrated circuit IC. The antenna can send and receive radio waves, while the IC takes care of modulating and demodulating the radio signals, as well as the processing and storing data. The RFID chip is very similar to a barcode label as it also typically works with a scanner or reader, although it has a wider scope. You can use it for almost anything, clothes, shoes, vehicles, animals, and even people. RFID chips as luggage tags make sure that your suitcase arrives where it was supposed to go. Dogs getting pedicured in New York or cows living on the ranch near Ohio have been on the way to cyborgization for years, as they are most likely RFID chipped for identification. And you probably already have a personal RFID chip that goes with you everywhere it's in your credit card. The first ever human to receive an RFID microchip implant was British scientist Kevin Warwick, known by the moniker Captain Cyborg in 1998. This experiment allowed a computer to monitor Warwick as he moved through halls and offices of the Department of Cybernetics at the University of Reading, using a unique identifying signal emitted by the implanted chip. He could operate doors, lights, heaters, and other computers without lifting a finger. Approximately two decades later, the technology has been made commercially available, and thousands of people decided to implant an RFID chip. For example, groups of people have been meeting at implant parties, often organized by larger companies, to hook themselves up. It's especially popular in Sweden, where more than 4,000 individuals can take pride in opening doors with only lifting their hands. So, why is the rush? And why should you consider implanting one? Dangerous. Hackable. Limiting. The hazards of RFID chips. Before you hit the order button on Dangerous Things Ultron Upgrade Kit, there are several things to think through as an RFID implant isn't a temporary tattoo, which can be removed by taking 10 showers. That's actually one of the most problematic parts of these chips, who is going to implant it, how safe it is for your health, and how do you remove it? Medical Concerns Dangerous Things recommends their professional body piercing or body modification partners to complete the installation of this product, but definitely someone with experience performing aseptic procedures. Thus, you should not experiment with implanting it yourself, and rather turn to a medical professional who conducts the procedure in a clean area with sterilized instruments to avoid the risk of infection. The company says that the pain level of the implantation of the chip is that of a bee sting or giving blood. The same is promised to be true for removing the RFID transponder. Dangerous Things says that the removal or replacement procedure is easy, you don't have any interference issues with MRI, or get caught at the airport security gates, metal detectors, or airport scanners due to your chip. In addition, the implants are pretty durable, you can easily fight supervillains all day long, the RFID chip will most probably not break. Privacy and Surveillance Worries Although RFID chips are not powerful enough to be tracked, just as dogs cannot be tracked when they wander off, or to connect to any satellite, some have fears that such chips give corporations the possibility to have control over them. What if they could track users in the future? Would you want a chip in your hand if it could tell for how long it took you to have a shower or to go to work? Since most chips are offered through big companies, it's just a matter of time until this happens.